Begin by opening the small box that came with your Gladiator keg washer. Items will include an owner's manual, water low and high, air intake solenoid, caustic drain valve, and a caustic tank cap. From the back of the keg washer, locate the process manifold. Connect the air intake solenoid to the air intake fitting on the manifold of the keg washer. Tighten with tri-clamp and gasket. Identify the blue tubing to connect the main air intake fitting. If you are planning on using two air compressor units, you will need to remove the threaded T on the intake manifold. Your main air supply will connect here. The second air compressor connects here. The first fitting past the air intake on the manifold is for the water high solenoid. The water solenoids have a high and a low. Attach the water high solenoid with tri-clamp and gasket closest to air intake. Next, attach water low solenoid with tri-clamp and gasket. The next fitting is for the sanitizer line, which can be identified by the Santaprene hose. Connect with tri-clamp and gasket to the third fitting. Lastly, connect the pressure sensor on the far right of the manifold with tri-clamp and gasket. There will be solenoid terminals that need to be hooked up to their specific solenoids. Start with the air purge. Connect this to the air intake solenoid and tighten with a screwdriver. Locate the water high pressure terminal and water low pressure terminals. Attach to proper solenoids with screwdriver. On the side of the Gladiator is a CO2 intake tri-clamp connection. Connect at least a 30 PSI gas line here. On the opposite side of the Gladiator is the caustic tank. Connect the provided ball valve to the drain of this tank with tri-clamp and gasket. Connect the control panel to the base with a 2-inch tri-clamp. For ease, we recommend having a second brewer to help connect the control panel. Once the panel is mounted, the Santaprene tube that connects to the manifold needs to connect to the output on the peristaltic pump on the side of the panel. The intake end of the tube will drop into your sanitizer bucket. Under the control panel, connect your caustic pump power plug. Insert and twist to lock in. Next, connect your caustic heater plug. Insert and twist to lock firmly in. Lastly, connect float switch and temperature probe. Finally, be sure to connect a large drain hose to the drain valve. 